Hello everyone, I'm Norman Walberger. We're here at the University of New South Wales. Question seven this is of chapter five on matrices. We're asked to let A be the matrix two, one, three, minus one. It's a two by two matrix. And then we're asked to show that A squared equals A plus five I. In matrix kind of problems, I always means the appropriate identity matrix, which is ones down the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Okay, and then hence find A to the sixth in terms of A and I. Okay, so we compute A squared. What is A squared? Well, there's the matrix A. So we're going to write down A, and we're going to write down A right beside it because we're squaring this matrix. It's good to have them written right in front of us to be able to do the matrix multiplication. All right, this is a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2, so we're going to get another 2 by 2. How do we get the entries? We take rows of the first matrix and multiply them by columns of the second matrix. So first row times first column is 4 plus 3, that's 7. First row times second column is 2 minus 1, that's 1. Second row times first column is 6 minus 3, which is 3. And then the last entry is the second row times the second column, which is 3 plus 1, which is 4. And also, A plus 5I, well, A is 2, 1, 3, minus 1. And we're adding 5 times the identity matrix. 5 times the identity matrix is just the matrix with 5s along the diagonal. So just basically adding 5 to the diagonal elements and leaving the rest unchanged. So we get 7, 1, 3, and 4. And so we see that uh, these two are equal as required. So a squared equals a plus 5i. All right, now let's have a look at a to the sixth. We want to express a to the sixth in terms of a and i. Well, let's start a little bit more modestly and look at a to the fourth, which is a squared times a squared. a squared, we've decided is a plus 5i, so we could write this as a plus 5i times a plus 5i. And this is going to be a squared, a times 5i will be 5 times a. 5i times a is, is another 5 times a for a total of 10a. I remind you that the identity matrix has the property that when you multiply it, say, by a, you get a. And finally, the product 5i times 5i will be 25 i, because i times i is i. And can we simplify this? Yes, because a squared is the same as a plus 5i, we've just said. So we can replace it with a plus 5i. And then if we look at what we have left over, we end up with 11a plus all together 30i. All right, so let's uh, do a similar kind of thing. So similarly, if we look at a to the six, well, that's going to be a squared times a to the fourth. We've just calculated what a to the fourth is. We know what a squared is from up there. So it's a plus five i times a to the fourth, we've just decided is 11a plus 30i. What is that? Well, expanding it out, 11a squared. How many a's? a times 30i is 30a. 5i times 11a will be 55a. So 30a plus 55a is 85a plus 150i. 
So we've got a to the 6 in terms of i, a, and a squared. If we get rid of that a squared and replace it with a plus 5i again, then we'll be able to write the whole thing just in terms of a's and i's. So that'll be 11 times a plus 5i, replacing the a squared. And we have 85a over here and 150i over here, which is altogether 11a plus 85a is 96a. And altogether 55i and 150i is 205i. So that's an expression for a to the 6 just in terms of the identity i and the original matrix a itself.